Hello everybody, I just want to uh, make a new video here to show you about a new online photo editor that has an awful lot of the same features that Photoshop has and the great thing about it is that it's free. So um, I'm just going to show you that the website that you go to for it is up here, it's called pixlr.com okay and all you're gonna do is just type that into your browser and it opens up this uh, interface that you're seeing right here um, and like I say it's free so um, what you would do I'm, I'm gonna open up a couple I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna make a whole series of these on the web on my uh, blog here for you. But let's start with this one here and open an image from your computer so I'm gonna click on it okay and then um, I'll just go look at a couple of uh, images that um, are on my desktop right now um, let's see let's let's look at this one this pier one okay let's select it okay and there it is opened right up here in the software okay um, and like I say set up a lot like Photoshop it's it's a, as a um, JPEG right now um, if you look over here in the tools menu you can um, uh, see the move tool the lasso tool um, Crop tool, magic wand, rubber stamp, um, all these different tools. I'll I'll show different examples of them um, as I do different videos of this for you. So um, this can be a little precursor for everybody who doesn't have Photoshop, but um, they learn some of these things here. When they do get it eventually, for, so some of the more advanced things they want to do, they'll know how to use it all. But uh, again, up across the top here, you can see that um, it, it has a lot of the. If you don't, if you haven't seen Photoshop, you would know, but it has a lot of the same. Um, um, functionality is Photoshop. Um, let's see, let's... <clears throat> Over here, you can you can adjust um, the brightness and contrast, use saturation, um, levels, so if you, if you wanted to go to levels here, you can just... Um, if you look, you'll, you'll just see that this lightens everything up going to levels here, this darkens everything down. Okay, and that's very similar, uh, if not exactly the same as it is in Photoshop. Um, I'm not going to make this too long. I'm not going to go over all of these because I'm going to do these separately on some different videos a little later on. But uh, I just wanted to make you aware of it. Um, you can start looking at it. I'm going to just put this up here. Like I say, there's a whole bunch of different filters that you can do here. Um, I just do the pixelate filter, okay it, and you can see it just makes it a little pixely looking. And okay, and then it has the same undo features that you have in Photoshop, so you can go right up there like that. You can um, it, it also is great, it creates layers, it has a history palette, um, lots of things um, that that are pretty exciting. Saves you, you know, five or six hundred dollars buying Photoshop or a couple hundred, or a hundred dollars or so buying Photoshop elements. So we'll be going over these here um, for now. Um, open it up and play around with it a little bit. I'm going to try and do a, a little video on um, something different with it every day. Okay, so that's it for now. Talk to you later.